I'm not going to call it my movie. I'm just the producer. I'm just the person who makes it possible for the movie to come out. <laughs> I am a producer on micro budget, though. A lot of good famous people in there. Good famous comedians and actors. No, what I was going to say is, motherfuckers going to be like, haters be like, nobody gives a fuck about your book coming out. It's like, yeah, like nobody gives a fuck about Ninja Turtles coming out. <laughs> Let me explain something to the Ninja Turtles fans who first saw Ninja Turtles when it was animated. It's based on a comic book. Okay? The comic book was out first. I know. Blows your mind, right? Ninja Turtles fought the Triceratons and the TCRI aliens, okay? And Baxter Stockman should have been in the original Ninja Turtles 2 movie, but they got... David Warner, great actor, but, you know, he was underutilized because he wasn't playing a villain. But whatever. They just were afraid to have a black guy as a bad guy in the fucking movie. So they punked out. And they didn't have, they didn't even have, uh, they had Toka and Razor in the fucking movie. Because they didn't want to pay royalties for using Bebop and Rocksteady, who were not in the comic book. But, newsflash. There were Ninja Turtles comic books out before it was animated. And it was gritty and gory and it was awesome. Also, something that I had to learn. The fucking Adams Family was a comic book first. I am, I am very remorseful. I feel great, deep, not sorrow. I feel shame. For not watching enough Adam's Family. Because I was a little kid. And the freaking Monsters was on. So I watched that. And I didn't realize. You know I saw the Monsters first. And I thought they were first. Just like them damn kids that thought the Incredibles was before the Fantastic Four. Because again. Little kids they only see movies. They see movies and TV. They're not reading books and comics. So yeah I have to. Give my apology to the Adam's Family. For dissing you guys all these years. Not. Formally dissing you, but mentally dissing you because as a child, I grew up watching the Munsters. And I saw the Addams Family, but I did, it did not register that the Addams Family was first. I sure as hell didn't know they had a comic book out. <sighs> that would be more street cred right there. But Addams Family, Ninja Turtles, they had comic books out. So when somebody's like, nobody's going to give a fuck about your book coming out. Okay. The characters in the book are already animated anyway, so... It doesn't matter what a hater who doesn't do anything with their life thinks. You know, they hating on me. They compare themselves to me not knowing what's on my IMDb. Not knowing how many books I have published. Your books? How, how much money are you making off your books? It ain't your fucking money. You didn't put the no money into it. That's like a motherfucker asking you how much money you making off of your movie when you use your money. You use your money to produce a movie. You use your money to publish your book. And these motherfuckers are haters. They want you to fail. They pry and ask you how much money you make. Why, how is it their business? They're not shareholders. If you're not a shareholder in a company, don't ask how, what kind of money is being moving around. Because it's not your money. You don't have no stake in it. So it's not your business. You know, they people feel like when it's, they're talking to somebody who's black, not just black people, people who are not black do this. They feel like they can ask you any fucking off the wall, nasty ass question. Like, look, motherfucker, I'm not your bitch. We are not in a fucking relationship. If you're not putting no money in and that's just like somebody, will, somebody black will get famous and everybody will be hating. Oh, I can't stand that motherfucker. Well, did you support him? Uh, did you support them when they started out? Well, no. Then what the fuck are you talking about? How can you be angry at somebody that, that didn't betray you? They use their own money. We, I got to read this goddamn naked lunch by William S. Burroughs. This motherfucker's parents were rich. This motherfucker's parents were rich. Sounds like some politicians I know. I'm supposed to give a fuck about this motherfucker? Over somebody that had to struggle like Jack Kerouac. I respect somebody more who had to struggle 
to get published or get started than some motherfucker that was living off their parents money getting high every day shooting their girlfriend in the head talking about oh he was playing william tell yeah right try that shit today kill your girlfriend today talking about we was playing we were playing william tell i'll put an apple on her head yeah right motherfucker you going to jail but uh, you know when your parents are rich and they can buy a wing of the, they can buy a wing of a college yeah rules don't apply to you and when you're a fucking writer and you fucking suck and your book comes out and everybody reads the shit and they know it fucking sucks they still make it into a movie that's fucking disgusting by roger ebert and gene siskel's determination i gotta agree with them from what i've listened to and what i've read and what i've seen this shit sucks but gotta get this master's degree so naked lunch it is for now but don't ask me my opinion on it because i'm gonna tell you the truth 